Hello, everyone. Welcome to the General Meshes channel. Today's topic is Win Indicator GMT P1 TCP communication port troubleshooting. After watching this video, you will know how to find out the Modbus TCP connection problem. The main causes for TCP connection are two problems. One is hardware problem. First, network cable connection problem. Second, the chips or circuits of the indicator are broken. Third, the external devices are broken. Another is the communication parameter setting problem. First, the parameter setting error. Second, the IP address is duplicate. In order to troubleshoot the above problems, it is recommended to download and install the Modbus Pool software. Next, I will demonstrate the GMT P1 network port communication via Modbus Pool. During the demonstration, I will point out how to find out the above problems. The tools for this topic the laptop with Modbus port software, one network cable, GMT P1 win indicator, one 24 volt power bank. First, by connecting GMT P1 with the network cable and the power supply, we can clearly know the network connection by checking the two indicator lines next to the network port slot. The first situation. Green light is on, yellow light is flashing, which means the network is connected well. The second situation. Both green light and yellow light are flashing, which means connection failed. We need to reconnect the cable or power off the indicator and restart it. The third situation, neither green light nor yellow light is on, which means connection failed as well. In this case, the chip or circuit of the network port may be broken. It is recommended to return to depot. Then set the IP address and port number in the communication parameters of the GMT P1. We need to set it as a unique IP that cannot be used in any other indicators. Otherwise, the connection will fail. Open Modbus port software. Click connection on the menu bar and set IP and port on the pop-up window. The IP and port should be consistent with those specified on the indicator. Otherwise, Modbus communication will fail. If the communication is successful, it can be seen that the no connection at the top of the address table disappears, and then the data of TX is constantly changing. If the above troubleshooting methods cannot help you solve the problem, you can say it is the indicator hardware's problem. You can contact our technical support for help or return to depot. Well, that's the end of this video. Please give us your like and follow us. See you in the next video. Bye!